Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and as you can see, we are back in the basic, the dungeon, the shed. So we're going to get some work done today. Um, I finally got my S2 Plus copper that I won uh, in the self-built contest. So I figured I'm going to take some photos, not only of the light, this isn't a review on this light, I'm just going to show you guys some different optic options that you can use on this light. So there you go, right now in there I've got a 30 degree optic, I think. Wait, wait. Don't hold me to it. Let me get my book out. Dun, 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 dun. 50 years later. Huh? Next one, next one. Yeah, this is actually a yeah, 30 degree optic. So we're going to try this 30 degree optic that's in here now. And I've got a 60 degree optic. And we're going to try the SMO reflector. And we're going to see uh, how it performs. Um, if you lose output by using optics, which I think you will. I think you lose about 20% output. But we'll confirm that when we do our test. Um, and we'll see which one has the better beam pattern. This beam pattern is actually really good on this light. Um, the light itself is a Convoy S2 Plus, uh, full copper with a um, no SMO reflector, no uh, OP reflector yet. Um, with an SST40 in neutral white using one of the new Biscotti, the fake Biscotti drivers from Simon. So let's get some testing done, I guess. Alright guys, so the light is on, um, it's on its lowest mode, so you're not going to be able to see it with the optics. That's mode 2, mode 3, hopefully you can see that now. Um, so in mode 3, it is a very linear beam. Uh, this 30 degree optics, they're not too wide, I've got optics that are like 10 or 15 degrees, and that's just super floody. Um, we'll go up one mode, so that's next mode up, I'm not even sure. I don't think that's direct drive, I think there's one more mode. Uh, this is the stock mode that I received the light in. So I haven't really had much time to play with it yet. That's why I'm not doing a review as such yet. We'll go up one more mode and that should be direct drive there. So yeah, you can see it is a very nice linear beam if we go all the way over here. It does light up the yard pretty well. It's not the widest, but it does have quite a floody beam but it still does throw pretty well. We'll go to the tree at 100 meters. Let me just undo the camera. And, oh, barely. Barely gets there. I wouldn't even call it. Um, I've done the lumen output. It, I got 1,743 lumens, which I think is probably pretty close, considering that this is the five or six amp driver. So, might be a little bit high. But uh, we'll do the next uh, optics and we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so now we've got the uh, 60 degree optics uh, in the Convoy S2 Plus with the SST40 neutral white. And I think this is on mode 4. Should be mode 2 or 3 modes higher to go. Um, this is actually a lot throwier than the uh, original 30 degree optics. So I wonder how it will perform against the SMO reflector. Uh, lumens wise, apparently it's 1,842 lumens, but um, that doesn't really sound right. I think the ceiling bounce test just favours uh, the lights that are a bit throwier. So this light's a little bit throwier. You can see the beam is much tighter than the uh, move the camera over than the other beam. I will go upper mode and up. That should be direct drive there. Super super bright. Uh, you can see not too wide at all. Uh, it is actually pretty throwy. If we go to a tree at 100 meters, it gets there easy now. That's cool. That's really, really good. It lights up. It pretty much lights up the whole tree. Because the my camera screen is down low, I can't see what you guys can see. But in person, it pretty much lights up like the whole tree. But you can see it pretty well, actually. It throws to 100 meters really good. And back to the yard. So, yeah. Actually, we'll take it down to one of the lower modes. This is still on stock standard mode. Is it going to blink? Yeah, it blinks. So one, two, three. So even in mode three, you can see it does look a lot throwier even on the camera than what it is. Um, it'll be pretty interesting to see how the SMO reflector compares to this optics here. Let's take it apart and put the SMO back in. Alright guys, so we're starting off on the same mode as what we did last time. Um, this time with the SMO reflector with the Luminous SST40 in the S2 Plus. Um, this is by far like the most throwiest. And I quite like the beam tint. I know it's a neutral white. 
and stuff but it, the beam tin does kind of look better when you're not using the optics but I must say the beam is really ringy if we look to the side here oh you guys might not be able to see it I'll put it up in mode so if we look to the side here you can see the beam is fairly ringy on the sides which you would expect with an SMO reflector considering it's still got the dome on uh, I'm not sure how well you guys can see but it is by far the throwiest so even not on the highest mode if we go to the tree at 100 meters yeah it gets there pretty easy not as good as if we went upper mode we'll go upper mode so that's direct drive now and yeah it lights up the whole tree easy pretty much the same as with the 60 degree optics but maybe a little bit better I think you can see a little bit more clarity in the tree and this time I can see it on the screen on the phone so it must be throwing a little bit better definitely a super bright hotspot um, the um, lumens rating was the 1925 so not sure there's about 200 lumens 150 lumens difference between the um, the first optics and the SMO reflector that could be error because it's only a ceiling bounce test I really I should have done the um, I should have actually done a uh, candela rate rating instead of a ceiling bounce output test but anyway what's done is done now um, so yeah um, beam panel wise Christie's beam is pretty ringy on the side here I kind of prefer I kind of prefer the optics in there because it does look pretty nice and when you look at the front of the light it does look pretty cool with the optics in there too but um, for throw and for utility uh, I don't know it's pretty close between the SMO and the 60 degree optics maybe if you can go like 70 degrees or something get it pretty close to the SMO but not have the ringy beam and the other thing is too I left the um, I left the um, the um, the lens on and say so I coated lens and with the SMO reflector you can really see the uh, tint of the um, of the uh, AR coating so something that I don't usually see on most lights but for some reason on this S2 plus you can uh, anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you make a uh, choice whether to use optics or or a reflector uh, anyways I hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and thanks for watching